Hey everyone, this is Tony Caesars Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of setting up your Google Cloud account. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. You can either go to cloud.google.com or search for the Google Cloud Platform in, whoops, not Classroom, Cloud Platform in Google, and uh, you'll be taken to cloud.google.com. And you can click on that and basically you can click on this to get started for free. And what that means is, um, although you'll have to enter credit card information, there are many different options for using the Google Cloud Platform for free. Um, like you can see here on the screen, there is a $300 credit that you get that you can spend over the first 90 days of your trial. And they do say that here that you are asked for a credit card, but um, you won't be charged unless you upgrade something to something that you're uh, that costs money, basically. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through this process here using this Gmail account. I agree to the terms of service, so I'll click on continue here. And um, next, I'm going to fill out this information. All right, and through the magic of video, I have filled out all of my information here, and it did ask me for my credit card, but like I said, this is nothing's gonna be charged today, especially for the first 90 days, unless you have um, signed up and are using a premium service, and there's plenty of options for using a Google, the Google Cloud platform for free. So let's go ahead and click on Start My Free Trial here, and it's gonna do its thing, set everything up, and we are in. Welcome, Tony, thanks for signing up. Your free trial includes $300 in credits to spend over the next 90 days. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and check out what we got here. <clears throat> A lot of the good stuff, at least from my perspective, as somebody who uh, has public facing websites like WordPress and all that stuff is within the compute engine. Um, and there is also in here, where is that? The one click um, app installs. So this, I will admit, even for me, somebody who has you know a computer science background, software engineering background, um, this is overwhelming. There is a huge learning curve to this. Um, so you need to spend, I mean, once you spend a lot of time in here, you'll know, and I'm, you'll you'll get more familiar with the user interface here, um, but, but even somebody who does, you know, spend a lot of time in here probably doesn't know what all of this stuff is on the left-hand side because there's just so many different components, so many, like an infinite amount of ways that you can connect everything in here, um, but but what I was saying, like the compute engine is what is a basic server instance, uh, probably like one of the entry points for a lot of people in here. And that, that could just be like me, my, my narrow focus, uh, but that's what I would think a lot of people would start with. Um, I can, let me see if I can find the one-click installs. Um, I forget, maybe it's in here. Nope, my first project. You have a default project here. Um, this is looking like a <laughs> a good tutorial here. APIs and services marketplace. That's it. It's the it's the second thing right up top here. Okay, so in here you have um, some featured things up here, some COVID things up here, but you have your virtual machines and your uh, all your different options here. Basically, what I think is a good starting point is in here the virtual machines. Um, so you got one-click installs, pre-installs of all of these different databases, networking, uh, technologies, operating systems, so Ubuntu, Windows Server, um, WordPress, that's a big one for me, WordPress, and uh, what else do we got in here? E-commerce sites like PrestaShop, uh, a wiki, like hosting your own wiki, um, and then you have WordPress on various different backends, Django, which is like a Python web app. Um, so lots of different options in here. This is page one, one through 40 of 169. So y you can be in here for a while. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think my plan for the next few videos is to 
go through some of the features of Google Cloud Platform. Um, and as I learn it, I want to help you guys learn it as well. Um, because like I said, this is a new thing for me too. So um, I invite you to follow along on my journey and hopefully we can learn something together about the Google Cloud Platform. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to see some more Google Cloud Platform videos. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.